Hello, hello. My name is Miro Petkov and I'm trumpet player at Splendor. And I'm at Splendor right now. And I'm going to talk to you today about my trumpets or some of my trumpets. So as trumpet players, we often need many different trumpets. It's not like, for, for instance, with, uh, if you play violin, maybe you have one or two, let's say, or other instruments that need less uh, instruments. We need at least maybe 10 trumpets. So these are four different ones that I have here in front of me. And I'll start with the biggest one. And that's a flugelhorn. That's basically a trumpet that I really like because it sounds very mellow. And uh, you can use it for many different kinds of music. So you can use it in folklore music, in classical music, in jazz. And uh, I love it because it's somehow very melancholic. I'll play a few notes for you on it. I'll play something. I'm from Bulgaria, so I'll play maybe something folkloristic. Flugelhorn. We go on. That's probably the most popular of all of them, and that's a B flat trumpet that uh, I use quite often. And I started my first ever instrument was a B flat trumpet. It was not this this one, but a similar one. And um, this one can be used in jazz, in everything, basically. And that's the great thing about it. Also, one of the greatest things about this instrument is that you can jump in the water and still play in uh, play on it, which I've done. And it works un underwater. Sounds very funny because only bubbles come come out. But um, I'll play a few notes on on it. And uh, yeah, maybe a funny fact that you sometimes see is these two rings here, these two things, they are basically to correct the notes, I'll show you. So you do the same with this, with this one here on this side. It's basically to correct the notes that are out of tune or use it in many creative ways as you wish. Um, anyway, I will play something and then you can see. So that was the B flat trumpet. And then we go on with the real deal. So that's where it all started, kind of. That's a natural trumpet. Look at it. This is just pipes. Do you hear that? It's just metal, raw brass pipes. And that's all the, like, that's in the back in the days. Here is another one. I have to tune it now, though. I, uh, that's what they all wrote for like that's what trumpet was back in the days like when uh bach created his uh i don't know uh, b minor mass or uh, mass mass i don't know how you call it or handle or many of the great composers knew the trumpet as uh, that but which kind of very much limited us as trumpet players because you couldn't play all the notes you only had holes if you had holes. So there are few holes and you can only play a limited amount of notes, which are... No, we start a bit lower. So 
So you can only play the, the overtone scale with this instrument. So I'll play something that sounds like a typical old <laughs> music, whatever that means. I'll just play on it. So this is it, and you um, tune different. You have diff different slides for different keys. So this one is now in D, and this one is slightly longer, and it's in C. So there are many different uh, keys that you can choose from. And this is it. So we go on with the tiny little piccolo trumpet. Look at it. Isn't it cute? <laughs> Uh, the piccolo trumpet is basically the modern answer to this trumpet that, uh, for instance, the Brandenburg Concerto Number no. 2 was written for a natural trumpet. And people use, use, uh, play it on a smaller trumpet. You, there are still people that do it, and uh, there are specialists that do it. There are also non-specialists that also do it, like me. <laughs> and uh, But... Um, you use this instrument also in modern music because it has all the notes and we like to steal the music from other instruments too, like flute and oboe for, for instance, because you can play all the notes which you couldn't back in the day. And now I will play for you uh, the beginning of the third movement of the Brandenburg Concerto. This is the, the piccolo trumpet in B-flat. So, I hope you enjoyed uh, the little trumpet, um, whatever you call it. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I'm looking forward to see you in Splendor, face to face, and in uh, better times. But until then, we'll, uh, we'll, have, uh, we'll be here for, for you, even on your computer while you're at home. Bye-bye, from Miro Petkov.